<laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Parents are both going to parties tonight. <laughs> Mrs. Claus. Look at your booty. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Apparently this is how we brush our teeth. <laughs> His butt in this outfit. <laughs> it's like a baby. <laughs> so it's just you and I. I know you wouldn't be able to keep your hands off this. Zeke's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? It's okay, Zeke. Still your dad. <laughs> I didn't lose my mom. <laughs> Zeke, what do you think of this? Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today is December 16th and it is actually 9.30 at night right now. I'm sorry if I look or come off a little bit out of it. I've been sick all day, have a lot of cold medicine in my system, but I'm feeling a thousand times better. I'm drinking Mountain Dew at 9.30 at night. I can't sleep and I've already been sleeping all day, so I figured I'd just have some Mountain Dew, have some extra energy, get some of this vlogging done. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a shoulder and tricep workout that I did with my sister and her boyfriend about a week ago. Yeah, it's a great workout. He puts us through a lot of different exercises that I've personally never tried myself. It hurt like crazy. Aaron and I were pretty sore for the next couple days. Jordan knows his stuff. He's a little mad scientist when it comes to the anatomy of the human body and he's amazing. I also don't know if you guys have ever met my boyfriend. It's been pretty rude of me. I haven't shared him on here. He just got a social media account. His name is Zeke, so let me let me introduce him. He's a little shy. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> so I want everybody to meet my boyfriend. We've been together now. How long has it been, babe? Oh, since September. So it's, it's pretty serious. I love him. He's great. He's loyal, he doesn't talk much, he listens, he's a great cuddler. He's my one and only. If you guys would like us to do a... <laughs> if you would like us to do a Q&A, let me know. I'll tell you a little bit more about our story. <laughs> so we got these new lights that are made for recording and it shows every single feature of your face. You can see my chin, or my face is kind of clearing up a little bit. It's still acne. I hate acne. I had a lot of people message me with different tips and I'm trying every single one of them. Every single one. I got a spray tan yesterday just because when I'm feeling a little bit fluffier a tan always helps that but this is our light setup. We have this. It's an umbrella light. That's a I think it's considered an LED light for vlogging in this style but it makes your face pop a little bit more and then I have here my microphone and then I always I always link down below my microphone my vlogging camera that I use my tripod I'll link the Amazon the stuff to the lamps as well and you guys will be able to search all of that down there it's actually a one-of-a-kind bottle I'm the only distributor of this so you have to get it through me I charge about $30 a bottle but this is my just kidding I don't want to be like Christian sued for trying to sell a product that's already on the market <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, I need to cool it. No more Mountain Dew. It is about 10 o'clock. I don't need Mountain Dew. I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away. I'm not, I'm not gonna drink it. Okay, okay, just one step, one step. I'm digging the way that these lamps make my eyes look though. They're popping. It's like that song. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. My eyeballs are popping. My eyeballs are blue. All the boys be stopping. They chase me after school. Oh, I need a life. 
I wonder what people with friends actually do on a Saturday night. What do you think, Zeke? What do you think people with friends do on a Saturday? I've ate protein pancakes, I've watched The Elf, and I've cuddled with my dog all night. And I'm doing vlogging. This is normal. This is, this is totally normal for a 22-year-old to not have a social life and, yeah, just normal. If you want to be my friend, comment down below and let me know. I would love to be your friend too. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound desperate here. I'm just saying like some human interaction where people say stuff back would be amazing. Like that would be really, <laughs> that'd be really nice. I want to get your guys' opinion. Aaron and I are thinking about doing some music videos that are like comedy skit type music videos. And we're gonna reenact some Disney movies, I believe. So yeah, if you guys like this idea, let me know what you would wanna see. We already have a couple that we're definitely doing, but we're looking for more ideas and something that's not act absolutely impossible to do. But comment below and let me know your thoughts on this, but they will be pretty, pretty funny. As well, so if you guys like this, comment, like, all the good stuff. Enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time. Next time. Let's get in to the video. guys, welcome to the workout video. Today we have Coach Dougie here walking Aaron and I through this shoulder and tricep split. We're starting off with just a little bit of barbell uh, shoulder press. We're going a little lighter weight on these first couple clips that you have here. Just getting our shoulders warmed up so that we don't pull anything. And then we'll slowly add on more and more weight. We we're only doing um, about five reps on each set, but we did anywhere from I want to say six to seven sets and then we did a final one of a drop set where we did as many reps as we could with the barbell, took off some weight and then did more reps and our arms were on fire. I am dying laughing right now at Jordan in this headband. <laughs> He's such a team player. We put, we made him put this on, and then after the videos, we were looking back, and he was like, "This looks so dumb." We're like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> Next exercise that we're doing here is a superset between dumbbell upright rows and an underhand grip upright row, I guess you could say. You'll see it in just a second. It's a little bit of a weird grip. You're using the V-bar that you would use for normally seated rows, but you're pulling up with your hands underneath and it kills your shoulders. The main thing with an upright row is you're driving your elbows out and keeping them high so that you're pulling with your front delt and not trying to use too much of your lower back to pull that up. So this is the upright row that I was talking about a little bit ago. You're using the triangle piece that you would use on the cable attachment as shown and you're doing the exact same movement but now with a cable. Upright rows are another exercise that you want to make sure that you're using a good weight that you can still control the movement. You see how in this clip of Aaron and then me as well, we're not swinging and we're not moving our backs too much. We're making sure that it's all in our shoulders. This next exercise that you're going to see Jordan here try to demonstrate for us is extremely awkward at first when you're trying to get into position. You're doing a lying down lateral raise. The purpose of this is to really isolate that outside delt and keep all tension on that without using anything else. But you really have to find your balance on the bench when you're doing these. I had to reposition myself about five separate times because I was falling off. 
And then after we did this lying down lateral raise, we were doing heavy, heavy side lateral raises, not full raises up, but just a little bit to really keep it on the outside delt once again and pushing out. So these are gonna be about half reps of lateral raises. As you will see, Aaron is way better at this exercise than I am. In my defense, it was my first time ever doing it. You'll see she has her legs positioned on this bench a little bit differently than me. She has one in the front and one in the back, and she's actually using her thigh to help hold herself up. She has her hand down on her thigh, and that was best for her to stay in position. That way it didn't work for me, so again, you'll have to kind of play around and see what's comfortable for you and what works best. But as she's coming up with this weight, you're seeing she comes all the way up to the top, takes about a one to two second pause to really feel everything out through that delt and then slow and control all the way back down. We then moved on to full rep range, lateral raises. We didn't superset this one with anything. We just did 15 reps, gave it about 30 second rest, I believe, and then did that about five to six times again. Today was a lot of volume and really all about getting that pump. Next, we moved on to what was actually a chest press exercise, but as you'll see, we're keeping our elbows tucked in and when we're pushing out, we're making sure that we're using that tricep muscle it's extremely important when you're doing an exercise to know exactly what area you should be focusing on. If you don't know where you're supposed to squeeze, then you're not going to engage the correct muscle. As you'll see, Jordan is a freak and he has striations through his chest and his shoulders like I've never seen in my life before. So this exercise is actually really cool to watch him do because you can see every single striation start to pop through. Last but not least, we finished this training session off with a little bit of tricep push downs. Here you'll see we're using a straight bar. He's doing full rep range of motion for 10 reps and then we did another 10 reps of just half pump movements down at the bottom. So again, it's full range all the way down for the first 10 reps and then you'll hold that right at about a 90 degree angle and just do half reps from there. When you do the half reps, you will want to lower the weight a little bit and make sure that you're really keeping tension where you want it to be. The key with a tricep pushdown is to always keep your elbows locked in place. You want to keep your chest up and elbows not moving at all. If you start to feel like you're really swinging your arms up and down, you probably have too much weight and you need to lower that. I realized when I was doing these tricep pushdowns that I actually felt a little bit better of a connection with them. When I had my elbow out in front of my body instead of right next to my sides, I was able to feel that squeeze more through my triceps. We then supersetted these tricep pushdowns with a body weight tricep extension. Again, this is my first time attempting this exercise, so I am not a pro at this. They are extremely hard, and when your triceps and your shoulders are dead, it does not make it any easier. I recommend if you're new at these, try doing them on your knees if you can. And if you still can't do it like that while you're on a bench, you can even actually do it up against a wall and stand back a little bit more with your feet and really push through your triceps once again. Alright guys, again, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed everything and I hope you learned some new tricks and tips that you can add to your own arm day routine. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. It helps me out a ton and I appreciate it so much. Good night.